I used to be a thin guy. Here I am being fed by the late, great comedian Henny Youngman at a press event. Until I got into racing. No, not automotive racing, but racing around the dining room table. I always wanted to come in first. I wanted to be the first one finished at the finish line. Uh, it was a little embarrassing, and then I'd have to have a second helping and so forth, so let everyone catch up with me. This was not a good scenario. So uh, I think that millions of Americans today need to slow down. They need to stop treating their digestive tract as if it were a racetrack. There's no hurry in eating. We need the culinary version of smelling the flowers. Eating should be an enjoyable experience. And it should be done slowly enough that we get the connection between our brains and our stomach that tells us when we've had enough, okay? So I thought of a way that we could remind ourselves to do this, and I invented and patented the knife and forklift. Now what this is, it's just a simple combination of dumbbells and utensils, and they provide weight. So when you're, when you're eating that very light, creamy souffle or, or dessert, you feel the weight. You can feel the weight because you're holding the weight. It connects exercise and eating in a way that's never been done before. And that's why a lot of fitness experts and weight loss experts are actually using this in their practice. They're actually retraining people how to eat slowly. That's why I call them training wheels for overeaters. It's called knife and forklift. Try it and I guarantee you, you won't be able to eat fast. Knife and forklift.